Hi everyone, welcome to another question on time, speed and distance. One can use three different transports which move at 10, 20 and 30 km per hour respectively. To reach from A to B, Amal took three modes of transport for one third of his total journey time. That means for Amal, the time taken for each part of the journey was constant. So Amal is keeping the time as constant. While Bimal took each mode of transport for one third of the total distance, which means for Bimal, the distance that he has for the three types of journeys is constant. Then the percentage by which Bimal's time exceeds Amal's travel time is nearest to what? Now, if you have seen the concept videos of time, speed and distance, you will know that the speed of Amal is nothing else but the arithmetic mean of the three speeds which are given arithmetic mean of 10, 20 and 30 which is 20 km per hour. Why will this happen? Because when time is constant, the speed is nothing else but the arithmetic mean of the values. On the other hand, when the distance is constant, that will be speed of Bimal. In that case, it is nothing else but the harmonic mean of the values which are given and what is the harmonic mean of 10, 20 and 30? Well, let's find that out. So that is 3 by 1 by 10 plus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30. This will be the harmonic mean of the values. So 10, 20 and 30 LCM is 60. 60 goes in the numerator. So this will be 3 into 60. Now 1 by 10, 60 is the LCM. So this will be 6 plus 3 plus 2. So I get the speed as 180 by 11 km per hour and once I have this my calculations would become a lot simpler. Why? Because I have the ratio of the speeds as 20 is to 180 by 11 which is 11 is to 9. If the ratio of the speeds is SA by SB is 11 is to 9 that will mean the time taken by A and the time taken by B will be in the reverse ratio or that will be 9 by 11. Once I have that, what do I need to find out? Now, we need to find out the percentage by which Bimal's travel time exceeds Amal's travel time. So if Amal takes 9 hours and Bimal takes 11 hours, Bimal takes 2 hours extra and in percentage terms, he takes this 2 hours extra over a base of 9 hours. So 2 by 9 into 100, which is nothing else but 22.22%. See, you could calculate the answer very quickly and get to option 4 because of this concept. This is a concept that you need to know. It's discussed in detail in the concept videos. Once again, I will repeat, when time is constant, the average speed is the arithmetic mean of the values given. When the distance in each part of the journey is constant, the average speed, which is the speed for Bimal here, is the harmonic mean of the values given. If you know this concept, the question is very simple, very straightforward and should have been attempted in the exam. Otherwise, it might be a little bit complicated. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.